Hello, I'm gonna go where I have to make the TIS route are they viable and the setups for it. So let's start here. So there are a main, two main glitches we're gonna use to let's use that to break the game to the point it is. So first one here. After this conversation, we're gonna do a camera lock. And camera lock is a quite precise glitch. We need to hit the uh, start button exactly the moment we enter this door. So normally when you enter this, you trigger this cutscene and all that. If I pause on the checkpoint, I don't get cutscene. I can walk through. Additionally, new rooms don't actually load. I'm not actually out of bounds when I walk out there. I'm inside the room. They just camera don't move and objects and events don't trigger. And we can, therefore, a lot of doors don't trigger. So we can just walk through and find different. And one thing here, we don't see anything, but we can use the pause button to get a short glimpse. Some areas are easier to see. We can use that to find certain doorways and not and navigate in some areas because we're going to do some longer section of that. Especially in the escape. But this one is quite easy. We just hold up and right until either the camera changes in a way, which I'm going to point out, or we hit the stairs, which we can use as sound cue. It works, the camera one is faster, so probably better to do that, but just upright. Oh, I forgot to just say it before. So. Camera stops here, and then next time we see it move forward, inside switch to up left and you should hit the stairs button. instead you can keep just holding upright and wait for the sound of the stairs like that walk down them and up left additionally if you do this and do the camera one if you're too early you can miss the stairs With that i missed the stairs but then just hold up left and you should immediately hit the stairs anyway so that's the first part of the skip getting down to basement one. Basement one, we can just navigate this. We can get through that guy without getting hit. Not very good at it. If you get through that guy, usually, if you don't get through it, usually you get hit by those second guys, but it doesn't really matter. We don't really need a lot of health. In that thing can get through without hitting. This just, we want to hit that button as close as possible to the rubble. I don't even think you need to be next to it because some reason when you, if you did the earlier skip if i understand the shot right you get put here and when you install an object you can just hold the opposite button to clip through it and the game will try to push you out so the tis does a extended clip out where it does something to also warp all the way up here but yeah can't really do that at least i don't think it's hard to make possible yeah here first let's go up a bit then hold down and left too. Once you see that lamp moving down, you know you're inside the lane and can start dashing down. I like to do five dashes down and then just hold a bit left to go out. And two. Now, if you, the TIS does perfect positioning while blind, but we can do a trick to gain control by pressing power shot. And if, if we're not inside the area you see here, this darker greener oh uh, not greener redder area and instead inside the black area we can just press bus stop button to gain control if we walk into this the camera goes back walk out of it we can do this again this line whenever you do that move that camera in, we trigger some weird loading mechanic we're spawning a bunch of object depending on our position and we're gonna find ourselves inside around here from the blind and then load the camera here which we can just do by walking up here on the fifth one here of those and dash down twice. If you miss, here I missed one dash. If you miss a dash, that's fine. You can just keep walking down instead. Get it. Let's see. Yeah, you just navigate. Had a to get here. Go there. Load it. Dash down. I missed one dash again, but yeah, fine. I just find those stairs, there's stairs should spawn at the same place every time. So when you're inside this room instead, you want to hold up and right. We're gonna keep moving up right just for quite a long bit. We're gonna find a quite precise position to get to to spawn a second pair of stairs, but it's quite easy. Just upright, just keep holding it. You see that camera uh, jump like that? We're gonna go until we get to the next point where the camera will do that. 
So you have to keep walking like this until you see our character start moving actually closer to the top ledge. Should be soon. Yeah, like that. And we want to move and around this point. -ish. Keep going upright. This is about here with the head. If you keep walking too much, you can always walk back a bit. But something like here. Then walk just straight up. Turn down and start shooting. And you want to align your shots with this point here. So it's not pixel perfect, but align those two bottom pixels. can be plus minus one or something. It's actually not that precise. I think it can be a bit more, but... I feel like that I'm a bit over, but I think they should work too. Then press pause, and I want to get to this. Now everything is correct. If you walk to this point, you should walk into a wall. Then walk up. You should jump down. From this, I maybe pass, press a bit up. I don't know. It's hard to do this in one step. Rather, I get this practice with just keeping it in all one motion. I'm going to go up, right, then a bit right, and down left. Down right. Something like this for a bit. Something like that for a bit. And like that. And if you hit this hole. Probably messed things up. And it's really hard to recover. And for some reason I always mess this up. And I try to show it off the first time here. If I do this slow. I usually hit this hole. You can do this. You can see I can detect walls or something. And the stairs should actually still be loaded. I think. Just that I can't find it anymore. Because I can't. Oh there I managed to find those. So I think I walked too far. I think that's when you hit that hole if you walk too far. I'm not entirely sure. As you can see you get loaded into this area so let's try this again. Walk up. Shoot down to detect. So you could do this walk up three-handed not do the setup. It's not that precise I think. Wall. Jump downstairs. Up. Go. Like that. This should put you in so it's generally just try walk up a bit this maybe not work just try yeah if you get to like this now i didn't set up the position i didn't get it fall down so it's always safer to do this even though you can try do it without up up right right down right so after that we get to this open this chest I think there's a glitch you can do here to disable certain walkie talkies conversation. I'm not sure I managed to get it by mistake once, and I have no clue exactly where I triggered it and why it triggered, but yeah. So at this point, we come up to one of the scariest sections again because we want to do the camera lock on this one here. If you miss it, you trigger this fight, and you cannot get out of this fight without killing these guys, and it takes forever to kill those guys, which opens this route, and we can do and retrade this so this is one of the major reset points if you don't get it they want to do this and really get this probably you can stay recover if you do it but you lose a lot of health and water so lots of time lost if you don't get it but after you get this we're going to do one of the longer or rather the first long blind movement section and so it is stairs here or this doorway here. There's two ways to find a way. Because in this room, if you go here and just down right, there's a pitfall. Where there is a bridge over that pitfall we're gonna find. So either you can do the just keep holding right quite a bit. Once you held it for enough, you can walk back. And once you see the two guys spawn, you can just hold down and you're over the bridge. If you can see I'm on the bridge if I did that. Additionally, you can just keep walking till where you think the bridge is and then do pause to get screen vision and after you find the bridge you just want to walk down for the bridge like that after you walk down you want to hold uh, left and down you just keep holding it for a bit here's one point you really want to have sound So I think I'm in the room below that room now. So I keep holding. There you hear a jump sound. Sometimes you may have to do down right and down left mix between those to get that jump because it's a small area. But once you hear the jump sound, you have jumped down the ledge and can just hold down left. 
you should just be able to keep holding it and the camera should start moving. At this point you want to center it because you want the doorway that's right under that doorway. I think I found it. Once you found it, you can hold it down right and you should hear stair sound. Keep holding down left, I mean. Somewhere you should find a doorway like that, then down right. Should get into the next doorway. I missed it. If you do, you can just hold up a bit. Listen to the stair sound. Then down right. And the second stair sound there, just keep holding down afterward. This one you should be put here. Want on low health, so you can play safe and switch character if you want to move a bit slower, but normally you don't even have to have taken any damage. Get to this door. We're gonna do another of these camera locks that we can't retry if we fail it. Additionally, you have extra health, which can be nice to pick up days after two need it if you fail this one you trigger this fight and have to fight this guy it's not that big timeless actually it's just one guy and we still have to do some extra movement even if we get this so if you do get this it's a nice time saying but it's not required so get to this doorway and just hold left until you hear the stair sound that keep pulling left for a bit then start holding right. And if you see that guy spawn and the door closed, you have walked enough left. If they don't, don't spawn when you turn around, you haven't walked enough. After that, you just walk back and hit that doorway to trigger and get back here. More water if you need. Only if you hit to fight, you need water. More health if you need. So, just walk into this fight. So, the furnace fight, there's a few. Trying to do the, more or less the task out the few slight safety strat. But otherwise, mostly the same. Loses just a tiny bit of time over the chaos. So. so, on the start, you want to mash. Post, mash start three times. That skips the initial cutscene. Walk up like this, wait until that thing starts to close. Then mash, attack, and walk forward, and you can go through. Throwing the bombs. Then go out again. Switch to this guy, avoid these falling things for a bit, and don't walk in front of that doorway. Because you hit the cutscene. Then align yourself so that you are roughly here. It's not pixel perfect, but if you line this line up, you can just fire without getting pushed to the side and kill that guy before in one cycle so, let's do that one more time three times start walk up here switch this guy because he has more health after that mash attack and walk forward throw in these things go out again This guy, don't walk in front of the doorway. It's just a bunch of time loss if you do that, so it's not that bad. Line up, not enough, so I probably won't get one cycle because it's quite tight to get one cycle. Yeah, this time I fail it, so if you fail it, that's fine, you just have to wait out another cycle. But don't walk in front of the doorway still. Such an easy mistake to do when you're avoiding these things. So I say that partly to remind myself and just shoot that. Shouldn't be much help on it left. And yeah, I managed to get that glitch again. Right? Where there should be walkie-talkie conversation here. And if you get that, you're gonna skip all the upcoming walkie-talkie conversation. I think I actually know what may have caused it though i no clue why it would do that but yeah i could try and go over that i need to experiment more to make sure it's what it is but yeah oh and we're gonna do a camera lock here but it's fine if you miss it because you can't walk back out i'm gonna go and show we're gonna do a 
a tech clip up here. If you do this normally, you would just unlock your character and yeah. Can't really do anything with that. Or rather you could clip up, but the door is still locked. So you can, can do is that and then oh missed it. Okay. Hold on. Like that. Now you can clip up. So the door right here would still be locked, so wouldn't help. So we need to this and if you get it no shear spawn so just up hold up left still after a bit of the stairs you see the camera go up then up right then start that mash attack and go up like that i probably mashed more than i had and in this section it's really hard to see where you are shear up against the wall just keep holding this for a bit once you see the doorway you can after the doorway you want to go either left or right slightly because there is a wall in the right center so just keep walking up and start going back to the middle oh i had this door in the center should be stair sound after the stair sound you want to hold a bit more right because you get stuck behind the object than upright I want to move up here in this room so we get room up then we should hear the stair sound and for this the next doorway is to the right but we need to move up a bit move up to high you can just go down again now for the final one just go up until you get to this door camera should move once you get there then just hold up you get here and if you get a glitch similar no walkie talkie talk otherwise you would get walkie talkies every time you change level so every time you go up and down like if I go down again, that would be a walkie-talkie. If I go up, it would be another one short walkie-talkie. So getting that glitch saves a little bit of time like that. But yeah, I can't say exactly why it is yet. And so here is time for another camera lock. There's some bees there, which is not going to spawn if you get it. So. Oh, this is bad. I found this one to, for some reason to be the hardest one to get. I don't know, probably not good with the keys for moving down. Get it, get it. It's like this. And now we're going to have one of the hardest blind section to navigate. Or it's the hardest because if you walk out here, there's a lot of room that's basically all black. You can't see anything. But yeah, keep holding left for a bit. You can just check. And once you see your inside, this room you cannot go down because we're gonna find this doorway. So now we're inside this doorway, but we're much on the side. So the doorway is about here. There's a gap of fall down under it, so we need to walk enough left or right, I mean, to avoid that fall down. So we need to walk down a bit to get out for it. Then just keep holding right and i walked a bit of far you see i took a bit of damage because i fell down once so you need to go right and once you see that door spawn and those guys you walked enough right and just start holding down keep pulling down for a bit it should be at the bottom wall but though you can't really see anything then down left to try and find the doorway which should be somewhere around there you don't need to pause this i just do this by holding down left for a bit quite a long time because i should Hit the doorway and keep down. So after that, yes, down. I hit the doorway, I checked it, but normally I don't even check this. Then after holding down left for a bit, down right to get another doorway. Just a bit more to the right, I think. I could be wrong about holding down right there. I haven't. I don't know exactly the location of these rooms. So down right, down left. Now after you have done this, it's like exactly you should see a doorway to the side of you to, to the left if you instead it's stuck between some garbage on the left side that means you're in one room to high up and have to navigate down this room there is some garbage inside this room i think that can block you but you need to find this doorway and just get through it this point is good to check because here's the stairs that we need to just find so like that now we're up to this level you're taking damage it could be nice to pick up some extra health or you can 
switch character to play safe because we're gonna damage with two damage through that guy. So you can do that, or you can. But it's fine to be on one health for this coming section. So. Because we should not take any more damage from it. So just walk up. You could press start to trigger the lock glitch. We're gonna do a lock glitch somewhere around there, but it's fine because I'm gonna go to the room where I can reset it over and over again. So I prefer to do this. And this is the room where we can reset. You can try it on this right down. I don't know. This guy wouldn't spawn if you get it, so that's probably don't check. So I prefer to do it upwards. I don't like doing these going down. This is the final of the blind ones, blind walks and camera locks. On. Not doing it well right now. That could be it. Yeah. So, to get this, just walk down for a bit. Okay, now check. This room is quite easy to see. Then we want to walk. Right, find the doorway to the right. Don't know where I am. Probably didn't walk enough down. Yeah, I missed. I didn't walk down enough. I just want to navigate till this doorway and then I skip holding right for a bit. At this point, I'm sent the doorway to the very first room where we start in. Then we just start holding upright. You, once you get into the room, that door will also close. So, at this point, you just keep holding upright till you hear the stair sound. Then up left instead. You should get in this. And you can just walk out. Which to that guy, I think he's far too damaged. And just attack this thing. And that's the game. So I hope this route will work out. It's definitely RTA viable. I've eaten it quite a few times. Maybe with save state mostly, but you don't need save state to do it. It's a few reset points, but it's very much RTA viable. I'm not gonna look in more to the glitch that disables some walkie talkie conversation. Maybe it can be used even more in other categories. I'm not sure exactly what trigger it is yet, so but yeah.